I was really laughing at how many people were mad about yesterday's YouTube title. There was a lot of people like, You didn't even box! I think the average age of a person complaining is like 14. I feel like most people were like, Oh, okay, they didn't punch each other. Whatever, I'll still watch. This is interesting. Dude, I, uh... There were like 30-year-olds in the... Th th there was, um... There's like... Two demographics, right, where you lose your mind completely on the internet. One is zero to like 16. The other is like above 39. So the people that, uh, the people that completely go crazy are like people who are like in their 40s and they have like a child. And then their, child, their profile photo on YouTube is like them and their kid. And then they write things in my YouTube comments like, huh, my cat could beat you in a boxing match, you know? And it's just like, bro, who are you? Like, what? Why are you trash talking me, bro? I think I played this person last title Tuesday. Yeah. This guy's name is Wojciech. Okay, please, Wojciech, please play here. Okay, please play there now. He didn't. And I can't help but to hear... But to hear an exchanging of words. Mm. Before take... It's Castle. Hit me, boy check. Hit me, baby. Yes. Yeah, my idea was to take. Yeah, and so now, now the question is, was all of this bad for black? Like, you got all of this, but my pawn is defended. I'm gonna move my bishop. I'm gonna open my rook. What did you accomplish, right? Bishop c4, bishop b3. Okay, I like bishop b3. He's gonna play bishop a6, because he's simple-minded man. And then... Then we will have to figure a few things out, like maybe knight f4, or maybe knight e3. Get my knight, I'm, I'm hanging b2. Oh no, my pawn! I hung my pawn! No! Just kidding. I really don't want to play rook a2. Looks really stupid, but it does stop a4 and bishop takes b2. But it is a very stupid looking move. It's kind of difficult to get me to play that, but um, let's just be stubborn. I feel like stubbornness wins out in chess. Like, all these top guys, like, they're so stubborn. Also, also, I might have an idea to play rook a1 in the future. I might. Like, that pawn could be a weakness. I'm a little worried my bishop could get... I'm, I'm always looking for a good time. Um, knight c4, take, take, looks okay. d5, take, take. Should be three. Play knight c4. Get the bishop. I right? two bishops. Pawn can go to b3 now, but then the rook can't go to a1. I missed that move because I'm an idiot. Wait, so did he. What is he? What the? That's why I missed that move. <laughs> I missed that move because it's bad. <laughs> I like mentally, I was like, he can't go there. That's why. That's why he can't go there because it hangs a piece. Um. Now the question is, am I gonna get trapped? And the answer is no, because I take on e6. So if I'm not getting trapped, I'm just up a piece. That's why that move was bad. So when you're a good chess player, not like this guy, but like in general, um, you know, you, uh, you have a little radar in your brain that's like, uh, you can't go there, it's not possible. And um, that's sort of what, what, what that was. Like mentally, I guess I just sort of um, he doesn't have that radar. It's okay. He could buy it for $14.99 on the black market. Okay, now we're going to get out of the position. We are just up a clean piece. We just have to not lose. I've lost positions like this before. But this time, I think I'm pretty confident in myself. This should be three. Uh, okay. But now I have this. Okay, it's kind of going bad to worse. He's now losing. Oh, he's, is he just giving me all his pawns? It's, sometimes when people get upset when they when they start losing, they just start trading all the pieces. It does happen. 
I mean, it's not a good strategy to create counterplay, but I kind of understand. Can I sack my queen for mate? No, because I don't have a... Okay, but I have knight g3, which is more than good enough, and... Rook b5! I did not see that. Uh, probably because it's also bad. <laughs> it's just a, just, a, just a game of not noticing my opponent's moves, because they're all terrible. Um... Yeah, now we're just gonna trade. Yeah, he just resigns. That was a that was a you know bad game by him, but it's life. What are you gonna do? Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. It's okay. I guess the position was fine. Yeah, this was not a good plan. Uh, interesting. This was just not good. What should I have done here? Bishop b3. Okay, I'm slightly better. He plays queen b6, maybe bring the bishop back. No, this is still fine. Uh. Okay, it's all fine, then just hung a piece. Okay. Tennis master. This is Unieski Quesada Perez. And I think he's gonna play e4 against me. I think I played him like once. Four times. Play Scandi. Let's try to beat a GM with the Scandinavian. Which one's he gonna go for? He gonna play knight f3, knight e5? Let's see. Like, above 2850 on chess.com, they, they, it's like they exclusively play this move. e6? What is this fusion that he's playing? Don't I just have queen b6? What? Queen d4? Is this some sort of prep? Bishop b5, I guess he has. I mean, I can just play c6 and be solid. Knight c6, knight d7. This is really goofy. I feel like these GMs just straight up, like, invent theory in the Scandinavian sometimes when you play them. Like, they're absolutely not playing real stuff. They're just playing some super Uga. Can I play knight e5 and bishop g4? Like, is that just... I mean... What does he want? Does he want knight c4? He beat Magnus. The other, uh, the other title Tuesday. Can't tell what he wants. He played so aggressively. I don't like. I don't think it's particularly good. I think he should probably take because it either forces me to move my king or bring a knight back. Like I feel like knight 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 d seven is probably the best move. But he might just play like bishop d3 or something. Guess it's, it doesn't work. Take, take, bishop g4, queen g3, bishop d1, ef, threatening this. I feel like Hikaru would like find a way to refute all that garbage, but... Okay, at least he's thinking, which is positive. Guess he's deciding which way to proceed. Hi, baby dog. Hi, baby, come here. Come. <gasps> yes! Hi. Can you suggest some moves? Stock dog. Stock dog. Dog with the stockfish. Stockfish dog. Mom, Mom's coming home. Don't worry. I want to go bishop g6. This move feels correct. I'm going to play it. It feels very solid. If he plays h4, sc screw this man. How about that? And then maybe on the next move. Yeah, but that looks dumb. That just looks dumb. Like, I don't know how to describe. It just looks stupid. Maybe just bishop d6. Maybe knight e5. Like, what would I play here if I was playing 2500? Just play king d7. I mean, even king d7 actually doesn't look that bad anymore because I'm going to play rook d8 and king c8. I don't think I'm blundering anything. Knight c4, I take the queen, takes my queen. Okay, he has two bishops, but I have queenside counterplay with b5. 
I'm expecting f4, after which I'm not exactly sure what to play, but... Can I just long castle? Maybe then he goes... Is it high time to take this pawn? Knight h5. Queen d4. Rook d8. It all just fuses together. He's definitely going to go here. Then do I have queen d4? No, bishop b3. He's still not defending himself. It's unbelievable. a4, queen e4. Oh, I hung this pawn. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, my God. Of course. I mean, of course, I just get to eight seconds and I lose the <laughs> game. Just like every single time. Like, like, come on, man. How do you lose the game the same way every week, bro? Like, come on. It's It's unbelievable. Like... So frustrating. Like at least lose a different way. I don't know. So frustrating. Nice.